Picture this, a spider the size of a human head clinging to your window, dragonflies as large as hawks dominating the skies. This isn't science fiction. This is the terrifying reality if the oxygen in the air we breathe suddenly doubled to exactly 42%. The moment you take your first breath, your mind sharpens dramatically and your body floods with energy. As supersaturated oxygen pumps through your veins, fatigue vanishes. You experience a euphoria, like a powerful stimulant hitting your system. But that superhero sensation won't last. That high ends the moment your house catches fire. Welcome to the morning of 42% oxygen. This exhilarating air is a fatal trap. Before your body can adapt, the world starts to burn. Doubling oxygen means the entire planet becomes a massive tinderbox waiting to explode. The first thing you'll notice is fire's heightened sensitivity. A tiny spark from a lighter, dust in an electrical socket, kitchen grease, a microscopic discharge from an old power strip, things you normally ignore. Now they can trigger instant ignition. Ignition time drops to almost nothing. Once lit, flames grow explosively. Even damp leaves burn as if soaked in gasoline. From this day on, the discipline of eliminating small sparks becomes the ultimate survival skill. But it might already be too late. A single ember, one lightning strike, is enough to trigger a continent-spanning megafire. Here's the terrifying part. Extinguishing these fires is virtually impossible. They burn too hot and spread too fast for any human technology to contain. The Amazon, California, Australia, they burn simultaneously and perhaps seemingly without end. And within this inferno, the monsters you saw in the thumbnail start to emerge. Why do insects grow so large? Humans use lungs, but insects breathe through tiny openings along their bodies through a tracheal system. This system is inefficient, limiting insect size in today's 21% oxygen environment. But if oxygen doubles, that limit vanishes. About 300 million years ago, when ancient Earth had higher oxygen levels, Giant dragonflies called Meganeura, with wingspans over two feet long, ruled the skies. A world with 42% oxygen is far more extreme. Imagine it. Spiders the size of dogs clinging to the ceiling. Mosquitoes as large as pigeons, hunting for your blood. Of course, this transformation won't happen overnight. It requires thousands, perhaps millions of generations of evolution. But one thing is certain. This oxygen-rich environment is the perfect stage for the rise of giant insects. Humanity is no longer at the top of the food chain. So, do humans stay supercharged? Unfortunately, no. The hemoglobin in our blood is already nearly saturated with oxygen under normal conditions. Long-term superhuman stamina is just an illusion. That initial burst of energy will soon begin to destroy us. The most terrifying enemy grows inside you. We're carrying a time bomb, oxygen toxicity. Excess oxygen creates aggressive molecules called free radicals, which indiscriminately attack our cells. Our lungs and airways suffer severe oxidative stress, causing a burning pain with every breath. DNA is damaged, vision blurs, and eventually the central nervous system breaks down, leading to death. We haven't become superheroes. We've been given a death sentence, accelerating aging instead. Everything collapses. Oxidation, rusting, accelerates dramatically. Massive steel structures like the Eiffel Tower or the Golden Gate Bridge would corrode far faster and risk structural failure. Human civilization burns, rusts, and poisons itself into collapse. If you wake up tomorrow to news reports flashing overnight oxygen spike, the first thing you should check isn't for the sound of giant wings. Check your power strips, the chemicals on your balcony, the paper towels in the kitchen, and the dust around your outlets because the time for a small spark to become a disaster has all but vanished. The 21% oxygen we take for granted today is the perfect, delicate balance crafted by Earth over billions of years. When the air changes, the world changes. When the world changes, our habits change. And those habits are the first requirement for our survival. 